hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. This is our evening time, drive time update, guys. And we got a huge video for you. Looks like we got uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you know, uh, in the house. And he's saying that, uh, you know, war is good for Bitcoin, war is good for crypto. So we're going to talk about that. Hey, it looks like the Dogecoin developers are going nuts and attacking this new uh, ApeCoin. You know, the ApeCoin, this was uh, developed by the uh, Bored Apes, uh, people who had all these NFTs in the house. So it looks like... Uh, you know, the uh, Dogecoin developers are going nuts on that. Also, looks like finders are now coming out and saying that uh, uh, Dogecoin is looking a little bit more bearish than it was yesterday, guys. So we got we got the alien in the house, guys. Actually, got the alien. He's back. He's back. He's fixed his picture. He's back. He's back. So he's out of there, and we got the Debbie Downer Bear. So hopefully that will the Debbie Downer Bear will be able to see Dino Dino on the show, guys, because things are going down a little bit right now. And don't forget, it's Friday. We have the CME futures expiring and we're also seeing that the number of leverage uh, apes the apes in a, hoo, 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 are a little bit less right now so guys and gals without any further delay let's jump let's jump into the data guys we got you know also elizabeth warren debbie downer news as well so i got tons of stuff to cover guys so it's you know we got dogecoin developers you know starting a war with the, the board apes team we've got uh, rich dad poor dad that says war is good for crypto right um, we got some other news as well we're gonna look at some ta as well and we got the finders report about the dogecoin so this is good news guys so let's jump into it remember absolutely none of this here is financial advice this is just the og in the house expressing opinion and it's only for educational purposes only guys so i love it you love it let's get it guys get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole with og in the house let's get it guys so let's do it guys let's absolutely do it in the house so don't forget to go back and watch all my other videos guys let's do it guys let me just resize my window here so you guys are uh, can see the OG in the house so let me go down and resize that bad boy right there let's do it okay so here we go so uh, technical technical issues of the crypto daily trade signals uh, video right now so it is what it is so today we talked about this is very bad for crypto this is a whole video talking about you know uh, Elizabeth Warren in the house uh, all I got to say to her is that you know it's a Debbie Downer right so basically they're trying to get the infrastructure bill passed again but they're rewrapping and they're using this whole uh, you know Russia sanctions avoiding the sanctions crypto kind of thing wrapping around the infrastructure bill so it's a I don't think it's gonna get passed but there's she's got more support right now behind that so that is interesting so let's take a look at the top 10 coins right Right now top 10 mentions on twitter in the last hours uh ape coin ape coin and this is the coin that billy marcus is going after right now he's like rah, 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 rah. so and we got xrp ada btc uh ethereum uh litecoin bnb a uh, poly and uh, dgb digibyte ah oh, digibyte and we got solana in house so that is a top tension top tension top mention Get your words right, guys. The top mentioned coins in house. Uh, also, too, in terms of the daily on chain uh, exchange flow, we're seeing right now that we have uh, a 78 million that flowed onto exchange. You know, we're seeing that you know we had 96, uh, 96.2 million in, and we had 883 million out. So, from, from the relative sense of the word, we got more uh, more uh bitcoin flowing out than in so that is okay from that perspective but then you know the net value is more in so because bitcoin went down slightly people are moving uh their coins onto exchange because they think that this, the, the, there's going to be more of a drop and they might be selling i don't think so but we're seeing the exact opposite with ethereum we're seeing that 209 million uh more coins flew out went out of exchanges so and you know we're seeing i think that we're going to see uh ethereum start to explode too because uh soon we're getting closer and closer to ethereum point two two zero and we're getting clear closer and closer to uh ethereum moving to uh proof of stake so that is going to be good and when that actually happens we're going to see ethereum actually explode guys uh, the only thing that's really preventing that from happening right now is the bitcoin dominance is a little bit too high in the house the fear and greed right now has uh it was at 27 yesterday it's come down to 25 uh that's because you know the bitcoin price has uh, gone down a touch guys it's gone down a touch and then also the uh the elizabeth warren uh, debbie downer news in the house as well didn't help ding so that is another reason why we're seeing that happening guys and gals so looks like finders uh, crypto uh, prediction panel turns bearish on dogecoin ripple and slightly and slightly bearish on uh, bitcoin so we can see that yesterday yesterday we saw that uh yesterday ethereum was uh, slightly bullish uh last week 
uh, and it's like and it's and it's slightly bullish this week so that's really unchanged ethereum slightly bearish now it is a uh, neutral so so it is a gun it's a little bit more bearish than it was last week litecoin is also bearish it was slightly bearish last week so a little bit down uh, and uh, as well and it looks like overall we're seeing that uh, it's slightly bearish uh, so nothing really has uh, uh, changed too much out there. We're seeing that Dogecoin was slightly bearish and it's bearish. So basically, it's 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 pretty consistent. The finance report is pretty consistent, uh, you know, with with what is happening in the market. And basically, everything's going sideways. Everything's doing the crabby walk out there. So that is what that's all about. I wouldn't worry about that too much right now. So it looks like Fed raises interest rates, but Bitcoin and altcoins not vastly affected. So that has been true. You know, even though the uh, the interest rates have gone up they were seeing that bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies has not been affected too much we're seeing everything just going range bound home on a range bound so that is pretty good we didn't see much of a collapse out there so right now we're seeing that dogecoin is trading at uh, 11.54 at time recording right now and we're seeing that right now if we look at the technical indicators for uh for dogecoin right now we're seeing that technically speaking we're seeing that a dogecoin right now is basically a sell and then we're seeing the oscillators are neutral and a strong sell. Moving averages is a strong sell. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not worried about it. We're seeing, you know, most oscillators are neutral. Most moving averages are sell right now. But, you know, that's a, that's on the shorter time frame. But I'm just still pretty bullish about Dogecoin overall. And you should be too, guys. So, you know, from that perspective, I mean, I'm still hodling uh, Dogecoin. I mean, actually, I even picked up some more Dogecoin uh, today. And we're seeing it right now the Dogecoin exactly on my 1150 support. And uh, that is because we're seeing that most of the crypto market is slightly is slightly down. Uh, Bitcoin is down. Ethereum is still doing pretty good. Ethereum is doing pretty good. And now uh, Bitcoin is just flash neutral. So hopefully, 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 hopefully we can get the Dino Dino Day here and things are going to be more positive. Ah, ah I jinxed it. I jinxed it, guys. It's turned uh, red out there. So let's see how, what the pre-markets are doing right now. So let's take a look at the pre-markets in the house. And let's see, took a look at pre-markets right now. So the pre-markets are red. And the pre-markets are actually more than half a percent red across the Dow, the S&P, and NASDAQ. So most likely, we're probably going to see that the whole broader markets are going to be red. And that could put some selling pressure on uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, remember, this is the last day of the week uh, for, for the, the broader market. So probably get a little bit of profit taking uh, because, you know, the last couple of days have been very good for the broader market. So we're probably going to see some profit profit taken so we could see overall closing in the red so hopefully that doesn't affect our crypto too much but most likely we're going to see crypto be going down dee 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 down down so miners miners right now are still hodling the most bitcoin are relentlessly expanding so according to a series of mining metrics not only are miners holding hard but they are also dramatically increasing the hash rate so like i said in my previous uh, videos what they're doing is they're hodling their bitcoin and they're actually depositing their bitcoin taking loans against their bitcoin so the collateralizing the loans with Bitcoin and they're buying more and more mining equipment because everybody's you know this is this is you know there's not too much Bitcoin out there about 91% has been mined already so everybody's at a very feverish uh, pace to get the last remaining Bitcoin so that is still good in the house and if you take a look at the Bitcoin price right now we can see that right now the Bitcoin price right now on the uh, daily on the on the uh, four hour chart is looking at as forty thousand six hundred sixty five. So we're still getting very close to the end of this uh, you know uh, a triangle uh, pattern that's formed, and uh, you know hopefully we should be breaking out. I mean my prediction is that we're going to break out end of March. So 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 far we're still seeing that it's pretty much validated in the house. So that is cool beans in the house. So let's just take a look at the uh, on chain metrics for. Uh, Bitcoin right now. Let me get my face out of the way. Good to face right out of the way. So right now, if we look at the more technicals right now, we're seeing that uh, technically speaking, it's neutral. So that is pretty good. Neutral is always good. And we're seeing that the oscillators are neutral. And then the moving averages are in the buy zone. So that is pretty positive news in the house for the bitty, for itty bitty baby. So that is pretty good. So things are looking pretty positive from that perspective. So let's take a look at uh, the uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad says Russia-Ukraine war is making crypto a better and safe haven than fiat. So, you know, 
what what this whole uh, conflict has done is actually it's focused more attention on cryptocurrency. You know that uh, people have been asking the Ukrainian government been asking for uh, donations in crypto, and the people have actually started to uh, send a cryptocurrency to Ukraine. I mean, I sent about 10k in Doge. A lot of other people have also been sending stuff. So, investors and personal finance author Robert Kiyosaki says the Russian invasion of Ukraine has drastically changed how the world views Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And it's been pretty positive from my perspective overall. I think it's been pretty positive. What do you guys think? Do you think that the whole uh, conflict in the Ukraine between Russia has been positive for cryptocurrency or has it been negative? I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Don't forget to go down there, smash the likes, show some love. And now this is financial advice in the house, guys. So I think it's been pretty positive overall. So it looks like Qatar Central Bank is studying digital studying digital banks and CBDCs. So it looks like Qatar could be releasing their CBDC soon. They're now in the discovery phase. So that is pretty good. So this is more and more bullish news that's happening for the crypto space. And, you know, this is the crypto revolution and it's just beginning. It looks like Ripple CEO Brad says recent court victory against the SEC is a win for the whole crypto community. So the case is not over yet, but still we're seeing that, you know, part of the decisions had they've been having some small wins, some small wins. So hopefully that when the, the whole SEC case against uh, XRP is finished, we're going to see that this is going to be a monumental case for crypto. And this is going to send crypto to the moon, guys. So this is pretty bullish news right there. So hype and crash. Dogecoin founder slams ApeCoin. So it looks like uh, it looks like Billy Marcus is does not like this coin at all. And he's just uh, fighting back, guys. So uh, Dogecoin uh, co-founder Billy Marcus has thrown a cold water on the ApeCoin cryptocurrency in a recent tweet. So Marcus believes that the introduction of tokens is the introduction of tokens is is harmful to the NFT space, and they lead to the creation of toxic and desperate communities out there. So the owners of such cryptocurrencies have become increasingly obnoxious during the boom to bust cycles, according to Dogecoin final rip. So, you know, I, I mean, from my perspective on this whole, you know, this ape coin, I wouldn't buy it. I'm not telling you what to do out there, but I would definitely not be buying the ape coin. I think the broader apes should stick, what they know, stick with what they know best, and that is NFTs. And, you know, this is just kind of muddying the water. So as you guys know, the red hot cryptocurrency recently launched by Yoga Labs, and the, the company behind the board, Apes Yacht, B-A-Y-C, Non-Fungible Token Collection, although it was ostensibly created by a decentralized autonomous organization called ApeCoin DAO, it is attempted to avoid regulatory scrutiny, and the owners of NFT from the B-A-Y-C collection can receive the Ape token for free on the official website of the cryptocurrency. It's also available for everyone uh, on such trading platforms like Coinbase and Binance. So you can now buy this on Binance as well. So, you know, it's my guess is as good as yours, what you should be doing. Uh, should you be buying? Should you not be buying? I mean, my recommendation is do your own research. Look at the tokenomics. Look at how long the project has been out there. And, you know, I have this policy. I try not to buy any cryptocurrency that is younger than two years, guys. But that's not stopping you from doing a speculative play. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose out there, guys. So remember, this is a new, new token. I'm not saying it's a pump and dump, but it's definitely going to be going crazy soon, guys. And remember, when things go up very fast, they also have a tendency to go down very fast. So just be careful out there with this one. Uh, you know, it's up to you. Do your own do your own uh, research out there. So Shiba Inu could be listed on leading, leading Middle East exchange. So this is positive news for Shiba Inu holders. So we're seeing Middle East cryptocurrency exchange, exchange Rain has announced that it's considering listing Shiba Inu. Uh, so that is going to be good. And that was in a, a recent tweet that just came out that the you know the rain the rain uh, exchange the rain exchange in the Middle East they're looking at uh, listing Shiba Inu so that's good news guys for the Shiba army in the house so I'm pretty psyched about that you should be psyched about that so let's take a look at the, the let's take a look at uh, BTC on the weekly right now that we have been stuck in this whole range right now for over one two three four five six seven eight nine weeks we got two days and 14 hours left on this weekly candle so let's hope and pray that we can close this thing on another green candle and that's going to take in, into another week of just range bound us we really need to see this thing to break out to the upside guys so from as you guys know we got the standard warren bill to prevent cryptocurrencies from doing business with sanctions entities uh this is basically just the infrastructure bill as i talked about earlier and it's just been rewrapped and and with the you know the Russian sanctions over top of it and basically you know if you're a miner if you're a DEX or if you're a centralized exchange any 
any uh, transaction over ten thousand dollars, you got to report it. You're gonna to have to KYC your customers. So what they've done is they've taken the infrastructure bill out there and they've just kind of re rewrapped it and they said, oh, we want to have this bill passed again because we were afraid of nefarious actors out there who may be, um, you know, circumventing the sanctions. But what Elizabeth forgot to notice and forgot to mention is that the blockchain is public. So if there's any nefarious activity going on, you're definitely going to be able to track it by watching the blockchain, guys. So that is what that is all about. So, guys, may the pump be with you, guys. I thought this was funny. May the pump be with you. And I think we're going to see a huge pump next week, guys. Absolutely. Justin, Russia's largest bank, uh, Cyber Bank, has been granted authority to issue its own digital asset. So it looks like this uh, uh, Sir Bank is going to be uh, you know, releasing its own uh, CBDC its own stable coin and uh, that is kind of interesting and if anything is good if, if anything that the russians are going to use to circumvent the uh, sanction it's probably going to be this right here guys so just keep an eye on that uh if we look at uh, if we look at uh, the leverage apes in the house right now so right now we got 96 million of leverage apes we got 43,000 uh traders have been wrecked and you can see that typically it's between like 31,000 and 46,000 traders get wrecked almost every day out there and we're seeing that in the last 24 hours this majority of his shorts so that's why we're not seeing bitcoin going up or not going down it's just going range bound because it's a seesaw right now we got 64 percent of the shorts in the house the balance our longs and uh you know we're waiting for the market makers to see what's going to happen and i think that we could be seeing a big hunter hunter stop hunt wick coming pretty soon uh for the bitcoin price on the hourly so keep an eye on this we could actually be seeing that there's going to be a huge wick to the upside pretty soon on this chart guys and that is going to be indicative of the market makers basically taking out all the long positions and taking out all the, all the short positions in the house guys so let's take a look at ethereum right now ethereum is looking uh, not too bad it's at 2800 bucks guys so ethereum is still going up and up up guys uh and that is pretty good we're also seeing that the Right now, the Solana is just going sideways at $85. So it's still well above my support line at $80. So that is good in the house. I'm not too worried about Solana right now. And we're seeing that Phantom is just going sideways right now. It's a, it's a buck 19. Uh, so hopefully it can get back up. Uh, you know, previously, a couple, uh, previously uh, yesterday, it had gone as high as uh, 125 in the house. So hopefully it can get as high as that again. So that is looking pretty good in the house, guys. So right now we're seeing the market cap is 1.84 billion. The, the bombs are picking up is 57 billion. The Bitcoin dollars is coming down, and that is good because most of the liquidity is in Bitcoin right now. So Bitcoin is neutral at 40,627. We're seeing uh, Ethereum is at 2,800 dollars, so that is good. BNB is up as well. We're seeing XRP is up. We're seeing Luna Tuna is down. That's because people have been taking profits. We're seeing Solana is down. ADA is down slightly as well. DOT is down. Diddy Diddy down down. And Doge is down. So we just have to wait till the uh, New York Stock Exchange opens. And then that will determine which way these cryptos are going to go. Keep an eye for that Hunter Wick, guys. Don't do any trading till after the market's open, guys. This is not final price, but don't do anything till after the markets have opened. See if that Hunter Wick happens or not. And, you know, after about an hour of uh, the broader markets open, that's going to probably dictate exactly where we're going to go in the house guys so that's what i got to say about that guys so don't forget to go down there follow me on twitter follow 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 don't forget to go down there smash the likes subscribe byb in the house guys and uh, you know everything's just going sideways don't forget to comment don't do anything crazy out there and remember crypto is a jungle wait till the market's open wait a good full hour before you guys start picking anything up and there are still some good discounts out there and i think that the altcoins are going to be raring raring to go soon but ethereum is still looking pretty good but right now if you just take one quick and final look at the uh, the heat map in the house so you can see right now bitcoin's going down ethereum's going up so let's see how that uh, that that uh, pans out but like i said i'm not doing anything till after the uh, broader market Markets open, guys. So that's all I gotta say about that. So it's a great time to be alive, guys. So let's get it. I love it. You love it.